Well, hello everybody, this is John Michael. We celebrate the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Whoa, a lot of, lot of non-Catholics don't understand this. Orthodox do, Catholics do, high church, Eastern folks, and even some Anglicans appreciate this feast. But a lot of Protestants don't. They've kind of thrown the, the baby or the Mary out before the baby. How about that? <laughs> but the early church believed in the Assumption. They believed that Mary was kept from sin. Now, they argue about how that happened. Did that happen at conception or just after conception? All early Christians believed it happened in the womb. Uh, the Catholic Church believed it happened at conception through the cross. So she was kept from sin so that she could give birth to a sinless child who could then bear the sins of others on the cross. And, and God was the father of the child, human mother, Mary, so he could bear the sins of all humanity. How about that? And all creation, see? And because she was kept from sin through the cross of her son, she therefore did not taste death. She simply slept. She kind of appeared to die and then she assumed. People go, well, that can't happen. Well, yeah, it does. It happened with Enoch, didn't it? It happened with Elijah. And they didn't give birth to Jesus. So if it can happen with somebody else in the Old Testament, why can't it happen in the New? Especially when all of the early church fathers, they speak about this. It takes a while, but they never found her grave. Where's her grave? Nobody could find it. They find a tomb, but it's empty. Jesus' tomb, empty. Mary's tomb, empty. See, whoa, how about that? Where'd she go? <laughs> well, she was assumed. And it's, it's a statement that you and I, see, she's a symbol of the redeemed. She's not the redeemer. She's a co-operator with redemption. And we too are co-operators with redemption. And we're looking forward to resurrection. And we're looking forward to, if we stay until the coming of the Lord, to rapture. So she's a sign, a further sign, a confirmation that you and I get to share in that resurrection of Jesus. That's my prayer for you guys. I love you so much. All things are possible with God.